Welcome everybody to the spectacular, the silver stacular YouTube show video thing, whatever you want to call it. It's a place where I just show off things that I'm doing, talk about coins, precious metals, or other things that are in our hobby. Right now I'm wearing gloves and I put buttons on them because I'm a wackadoo. Um, I got a lot of things that I want to show you that are new to me. So let me get into it. Um, I like to throw out the really cool stuff right off the bat and it's just so hard to pick one because it's all so cool. I'll show you all some gold that I just picked up. That'll 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 help the, a little bit, I think. So here's another uh, St. Gaudens that I picked up. This is a 1928. Let me get the light on it better. Um, a little bit better at least. There it is. 1928. And she's a pretty one. So um, it says melt plus 90. I was able to talk them down a little bit from that. So thank goodness because I'm trying to get gold as cheap as possible, especially with the prices going up. Um, I need it all I can get. So now this is my third St. Gaudens double eagle, and uh, I just dropped it, but happy to have it. Um, very, very cool. My favorite uh, gold coin there is right there is the St. Gaudens, and you know I'm just gonna keep collecting them as I can find them. So there's that. Let's keep it out. Let's keep it out and about. Uh, what else have I got lately? Um, I got some 2020 Eagles. <laughs> How'd that Mercury find its way in there? That's probably gonna scratch it up, isn't it? Now that it was stuck in there. So actually there's two Mercuries. And now it's on that side. All right, there it goes. All right, so I got two 2020 Eagles. And uh, just to kind of, pretty much bought them just to see what the price is right now. I paid $24 a piece for these right here. Man, they're getting expensive, aren't they? Um, on Atmex, I've seen them over $30 each for a 2020 Eagle. And that's kind of like what's going on right now today at Atmex. Pretty ridiculous. Um, imagine buying a monster box of eagles at $30 each. That's rough. Um, I did get some Mercury Dimes, which is probably why uh, they were inside there together, because uh, they were inside of here together. Maybe what I'll do is after the video, I'll look through these and see if there's anything cool, and I'll um, show it to you afterwards. There's also some Roosevelt's I've been getting. Um, another bag of Mercury Dimes that you haven't seen yet. Uh, I've already looked through these though. There was nothing in that bag, so I'll put that to the side. And of course, there was nothing special in the Merc or the uh, Roosevelt's. I've also been able to get some Benjamin Franklin half dollars. And I thought this was kind of neat that uh, I just decided to go through them and I found, how many here? There was uh, six, six, 12, uh, all of different dates. Um, and that was kind of neat to me. Uh, dates and mint marks, of course. So that was just something a little different and neat. And here's some excess. And then I was able to find a few Walking Liberty half dollars that are new to me. So that's cool. Those will probably go in my nice bag of Walking Liberty half dollars. I found these. These are like um, the old gambling tokens. Uh, when I was in Vegas, I think I was 18 years old when I went to Vegas the first and only time. And there was a machine, and if you won like a $10 um, reward, I guess, or what do you call it, a $10 pull on this thing, that uh, you got one of these kinds of tokens that came out. And it was like, I guess it was supposed to be collectible. You could also cash it in for 10 bucks if you wanted to, but I thought it was kind of neat. Um, I really didn't understand silver too much at that time. But uh, I just, I looked at it and thought it was cool, like a nice little you know, token to, to bring back home with me after Vegas. And uh, yeah, so I still have that token. And here's some new ones that I got that are actually in better condition than mine is currently since mine has just been, you know, since I was younger and has been just messed around and played with since I was a kid, pretty much, you know, 18 years old. But yeah, very cool, very cool, very cool pieces. Um, on Instagram, I got this really cool piece that I've been wanting for a while. Hopefully you can see the whole thing. Uh, this was from Charlie Mack of Brooklyn and I can show you his little sticker that he has there. He's a pretty cool dude. And here's one of his wacky stickers with him as a samurai and him as his little puppers that's in a samurai outfit. So yeah, just a fun guy, you know what I mean? Uh, some of us collectors and stackers, you know, we, we're just people, man. We just have to have fun as much as we can. 
So this is the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. This was a Provident Metal kind of exclusive, I think. And of course, Provident Metal is owned by JM Bullion now. But at the time, they were their own company. And uh, this is what we got going on. We got the Four Horsemen. We got uh, Conquest right there, which he is an archer on the horse. And then you got the uh, War. And he's just, you know, shredded. Look at that. Look at the six pack. Not even a six pack. That's like a one, two, three, four, five. That might be a 10 pack or a nine and a half pack. That's really good for him. Good for him. Doesn't doesn't skip the gym whatsoever. And staying true to the diet right there. He's not eating no, you know, uh, ice cream or anything like that. That's, that's all chicken and maybe some beef too. It's very good for him. And here's Famine. So there he is with the scale. And of course, this is all stuff from the Bible, you know, Revelations. Uh, you got uh, the death right there. And um, that should be a pale horse, right? Yes, pale horse of death. And behold, there is death. Very cool. So that's a very neat set. And a member of the community actually does these like plaques. Um, he's on Instagram too. He goes by the name of Oki Stacker. So um, yeah, um, I thought what a cool set to get like that. And I missed out on the set to be, to be honest. So uh, here it is now and uh, happy to have it. That'll, that'll never be something I would get rid of. That's something I want to always keep. Always keep unless somebody wants to just, you know, buy it for a million dollars and then whatever. Um, this is cool. This actually, th these are, you know, this is not what's in there, but um, where is that at? Hold on, I gotta take the glove off for this one. This one does not need gloves. So here it is. So this little baggie I thought was cool. Um, another guy from Instagram, I believe he does some stuff off of Instagram too, but I will give you a link in the description of this person. This comes from RL Coin Rings. And he had a ring on his Instagram and I said, wow, I could use one like that. And it was hammered, a hammered coin ring. So look at this thing. Let me show you this. This is so cool that hammered look. And uh, truth be told, this is not the first time I unboxed it. I actually did, you know, put it back in there just for the sake of this video, but I've been wearing it all day. So it's a little scuffed up by now and it's got some, uh, you know, some dirt to it probably for me getting around the town. But look what's, look what's going on. There. Look what he did it for me. He put spectacular right in there, triple nine. Can you see that? That's so cool how he I don't know, etched that in there, I guess. And he hammered it. This took him a long time. I was actually watching him do uh, live videos on Instagram of him hammering away, trying to make this thing real nice. Um, the guy's an artist for sure. So for the uh, sake of this video, um, from here on out, I will just go ahead and uh, put my, my ring on. Very cool. It's actually not a coin ring per se. Uh, I believe it was a, a silver round, a triple nine fine silver round that he used to make this. So uh, more like a round ring. <laughs> but let's see what everything says in here. Tell you what, man, those, those people on Instagram are so cool. Uh, let's see. Spectacular. And this I have not seen yet, by the way. This is this is totally new to me. Uh, spectacular. I appreciate your work as a creator, and I'm honored that you appreciate my creations. I hope you like your hammered triple nine AG ring I made you. May it protect you from negative energy and bring you much luck in all you do. Well, thank you very much, RL Coin Rings. Look, he's kind of an artist over here, too. Um, yes, it's soft. That's okay, though. Just use one of your wife's old uh, nail buffers, um, the foam kind, and buff it out when it's looking dull. It will take on a personality of its own with all the new dings and scratches. That's really cool, man. Thank you, Rob. Um, I mean, like, I agree. Something gets a little dinked up and stuff, and uh, it starts to build some character. Like this ring right here, my wedding ring. You know, it used to be, of course, perfect and shiny, but uh, over the years, over 10 years of marriage now, um, it started to get, you know, little dinks and scratches on it. And then just builds character, you know? Just like a good marriage, you get little dinks and scratches once in a while, but, you know, it still holds up. So that's important. Uh, this looks like a microfiber cloth that he included, which is kind of neat, which is in there with, like Fort Knox, apparently. It'd be cool to buff it out a little bit now that I've worn it all day. Let me see. Let me see the buffing effect. If you all don't have a coin ring uh, by now, and uh, you're a you're a stacker or a collector, I tell you what, it's just something neat, something neat to to wear your hobby, you know. And they can do anything. They can do regular coin rings. In fact, let me show you this. Um, RL Coin Rings did a giveaway a while back on my channel uh, with one coin ring, 
and I got to keep the other. And this was my florin that I got to keep right here, the Australian florin. And I decided to put it on a sterling silver necklace and uh, have it like that. So I thought that was kind of cool. And of course I can wear it too, but um, it looks neat like being, you know, on a, on a necklace, I think. And maybe eventually, maybe sometimes I can, I can switch it out with this one and wear this and put that on the ne necklace. Yeah, just something cool. You know, it's neat sometimes, like I said, to wear your hobby. You know, what other hobbies can you do that with? Can you just wear your hobby? Well, I guess a lot. You can have a t-shirt saying like, you know, your favorite NASCAR person or football player or whatever the case may be. But anyways, all right. So that's enough buffing my ring out. Uh, what's in here? Probably, probably a stickers if I had to guess. Um, of course, that's in there real good. Let's get out an old friend. Um, some of you that are very familiar with the show uh, know Katana. And it's one of the sharpest blades in the entire world. But Katana's going to try to get these out for us real... Nope. Not going to happen, Katana. I don't think you're going to do it. Katana has never broke on the channel before, but it's been closed many times. It's not going to... Katana, no offense to you, I don't think you're going to do this. This is not going to work for you. Okay. It kind of worked. There we go. So, yeah. So, there's some stickers. Uh, ooh, look at that. Huh? Must be nice to have that kind of money to make a sticker that's all shiny like that. Good for you. So those have to go onto the sticker board, uh, which filled up on the front, by the way. It's just, it's to the back now, the sticker board. So it's definitely, definitely doing well, that old sticker board. Katana's disgusting, has tape on the side of it. Um, yeah, old, old friend of the show, but old being the key word. So, but RL Coin Rings, thank you very much. You really made a masterpiece here. I love how you put my name inside. Uh, that was really neat. Um, again, I'll have that description down in the, uh, or I'll have that link down in the description to find him um, on Instagram or whatever he, you know, uh, can talk to you on, maybe email, I don't know. But I'll have something in down there for you to look at in case you want to get, you know, wear your hobby. That's so cool. Uh, what's next? Okay, got this. I got this in the mail. And this is another thing from Instagram. A lot of port artists on there. A lot of people doing some really neat things. Um, it's just fascinating what people do on there. It's like just, you know, crafts and stuff with, with our hobby. It's, it's, all, it's all over on there. We are stackers on Instagram and Facebook too. I'm sure I just don't really get onto Facebook. Uh, but here we go. We got X metals and one Troy ounce, triple nine fine. And this is new little logo. I guess he has here with the pirate and, uh, some, some dual cutlasses. Um, and number 69, look at that. And the back actually feels really, really cool. But yeah, it's actually a really nice feel to it. And just a nice little one ounce piece. So I thought that was fun. And it's called the Death Head, one ounce, 69 out of 99. He might've actually sold out of these. They might be gone by now. Uh, I'm not sure. But that'll go into the poured silver stack just because it's cool and I love it. And I love my poured silver. Uh, what else? Let's see. I got these a while back from a shop. I'm not sure if I showed you these off yet. Um, so I got 10, uh, 2009, let me see. Let me put my, my glove with my buttons back on. Uh, 2009 Canadian maples. And of course they are milk spotted to death, but the price was right. This was back when the price of silver was, I don't know, like $15 um, an ounce. And then of course, after just a couple days, it shot up to 17 bucks. I mean, it, it's gone crazy this last week and a half. But yeah, look at the nasty milk spots on these, right? These are definitely something you don't want to like, you know, keep as like uh, some kind of collector's coin. This is going to be something you'd want to melt down and, and save just as a, a bullion piece. And when the prices are right, you know, get rid of them. Uh, or just stack to, to preserve your wealth, right? Because that's what we, that's what we kind of do here for the most part. But yeah, milk spotted to death. Uh, supposedly now with the the mint shield uh, much less of the milk spotting is happening on the canadian coinage which is good because i mean look how ugly that looks that looks terrible but like i said the price is right and that's why i purchased them but i definitely didn't purchase them for the um, aspect of them being perfect coinage but either way there they are i mean really with those i ain't gotta wear gloves because i really am not trying to protect them from anything because they're already nasty as it is Anyways, I think the Canadian Mint has finally got themselves together. Um, let's see. I love this. I love that gold. Woo-wee. Feels so good. So heavy. Whoop, and it dropped it again. Um, it's funny, like, if you haven't had a, a big gold coin in your hand, and I really haven't had a larger gold coin in my hand up until, you know, recently. 
uh, what was it, like last year or so. Um, it's just, it feels heavy. I mean, there's a heft to it for sure. And I know it's, you know, around one ounce or so. Um, this is actually probably a little bit over technically. But, I mean, it just, you just don't realize the weight and it's easy for it to just slip out of your fingers because it just topples over. Uh, but anyways, let's move on. This is, I don't know. Um, it's in a nice little burlap sack, looks like. Is that burlap? Well, it's not falling apart like burlap does. I don't know what it is. But let's see what this is. Oh, I do remember this now. Yes, I do. Uh, this is from Moose Wolf's Metals. Moose and Wolf Metals. They do some really cool things. Again, on Instagram. Uh, this is probably a COA if I have to guess. I think he does the COAs in here. I have a few of their pieces. And they're, I'll tell you what, they're all so neat and just like little snowflakes. Yes, it is, okay. So this is a one and a half ounce Island Getaway, it says. And uh, signed by both of them, Mark Moose and uh, Gary Wolf. So it's cool that two people are working on this thing, but there's that, look at this thing, right? Uh, first of all, it's got some nice baggage to it. I really do appreciate that. Nice little one and a half ounce piece of triple nine fine silver. But look at the grooves and stuff in this thing, huh? bubbles and everything that occurred but now here's the fun part can we can i get this light on there can i really have you enjoy this thing it tells a little story doesn't it let me zoom in so you got um the ship on the right side and of course he has like a uh a moose and a wolf combined as the little uh trophy on the front of the ship there what is that called the little thing that goes on the front of the ship and then looks like they're setting sail a little bit or they're starting to reach land maybe because right here is a little fire and island and just a neat little piece, huh? Triple nine, it says up there. Very cool. Very cool what these ladies and gentlemen do on Instagram with the poured stuff and all over the place. The poured artists are just, you know, fascinating to me. Um, silver is silver sometimes, but uh, sometimes it's also art, and this right here is an example of art. And so is like this. I mean, this is this is art too on my finger. And by the way, this is not that expensive too. This is very affordable. Uh, those rings. So don't think that they're unattainable. Uh, that's something you can easily get. But um, yeah, that's that's cool. I spent a lot of money uh, on this stuff for sure. Um, but it's fun. It's fun and it's cool. And some of the stuff is definitely easier to obtain than others for instance you know mercury and roosevelt dimes but then you start getting to the crazy stuff like right here where i literally paid um over eighteen hundred dollars just for this and i almost dropped it again did you see that almost eighteen hundred dollars for this 1928 um saint godden's double eagle i would like to test it to make sure that it's legit you know i buy from a reputable shop um which buys from reputable people but sometimes they also buy from people that aren't reputable. So uh, where is the testing machine? Here it is, the Sigma Metalytics. We're gonna make sure that it is a real. So we're going to run calibrate and this is a 90% pure. There it is, 90% gold. So I'm gonna run calibrate again and we're going to put it on the machine and it shows it is good, it's in the middle of the brackets. So it is just fine and or dandy. And the back is too, we can move it around a little bit to make sure there's not some kind of weird thing going on on the edge. There it is, it's still on the sensor. There we go, oh wait, there we go, back on the sensor. Good, good, good. Very cool. So yeah, St. Gaudens is good. And I don't know if you've seen it, but another Instagram pickup right here was this Deadpool coin. I'm not really gonna, collect the entire Marvel series of coins, but uh, a couple of them are pretty neat to me. Um, Venom, Deadpool, Spider-Man. Uh, those are just neat, neat characters and uh, ones that appeal to me. So there's my Deadpool. And at least right now in my mind, I'm not going to collect them all, but we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. You never know with me. I just, you know, I just do what I do. Um, but I'm going to check these out real quick, these dimes, and see if there's anything special. Um, so if there's something at the end of the video, it might be a special dime. If not, y'all have a good day. I gotta go. Spectacular is out. <laughs>